in this video we will learn how to create this amazing ice storm effect in photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun so let's jump in photoshop welcome back everyone my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will learn this amazing ice storm effect and we will use Photoshop CS6 extended for this purpose or for these actions. First of all you need to download these actions so the link is given in the description bar. You can free download these actions. These are already in premium versions so you cannot download anywhere it from as a free version so this is only available on my blog so just go to download section and download these uh, actions before we start our tutorial just go to uh, subscribe button and click on that subscribe button so you could get a notification about my new video because I am uh, posting a new video on daily basis I try my best to post it on daily basis uh, okay so I have talked a lot so start our work this is a simple image creating a selection uh, um, uh, uh, we can say that around our character then create a effect like this if, uh, effect will be applied on this uh, layer and after applying our effect it will be look like this and today we will work on that so we'll create a selection around that create uh, a selection to create effect and after applying a uh, applying effect you will see that this is the final result so let's just close this and we'll do it on that so delete that folder and turn off these layers so first of all you have to uh, have a high definition wallpaper to uh, use these actions because on high definition wallpapers it works very smartly and fastly so you can get more detailed uh, output after applying or playing actions so first of all create a new layer as I created a new layer and name this layer as brush and create a selection using quick tool so quick selection tool as uh, it is created around this look at this now uh, change your foreground color to any color you like and press alt plus backspace to fill it with that color like uh, we have created a new layer and fill it with alt plus uh, backspace or you can do it by using edit uh, fill and change it to foreground color and the foreground color is red so you can do it like this so I don't need to do that because I have already created a selection sorry created a selection around it uh, delete that uh, layer look at this after that name create a new layer again and name this as effect the name should be uh, first letter of the, uh, the effect word will be capital and all the other words will be in lowercase e double f e c t effect and the brush layers name should be b r u s h but the b should be in capital and other uh, words will be in lowercase <coughs> sorry okay so when you create this effect layer now change the foreground color to any other colors like uh, let's just change it to green so this is the green color now place it on the top of this layer and fill it with uh, the area where you want to broke this uh, character like I want to broke its hand like uh, it should the hand will be broken into eyes so this effect will be uh, I will brush over it <coughs> like here or if you want to exact selection around this you just can click and create selection now you can use your brush tool as a fill okay now try to use a soft brush instead of hard brush because it will create a really nice fading uh, on your on the character's hand so it could look more realistic uh, and after that uh, when you'll create selections like uh, putting it here like creating the selection here here anywhere you want to be broken into eyes like I want to broke this area this this and this area and from a little from this shoulder so after doing that step uh, after naming these layers and this type of things now we will need to load brushes so go to edit uh, preset manager 
go to preset manager and click on load brushes from there you will see that ice storm brush when you will come uh, unzip that for, uh, file there will two there are two files one is atn file and second is avr files and the avr file is used for brushing so we'll use this brush click on load as i already loaded it uh, into photoshop uh, this is the loaded version hit done now go to windows actions or for shortcut it is alt plus f9 now click on this icon then go to load actions from here you will see that there will be a atn file named ice storm so select and click on load as i already loaded it already did so look at this uh, this one is the we can say that file so extract that and you will see that there are lots of processes uh, sorry processes are going here so before doing playing this action we'll go to edit purge all it will erase all the photoshop history so it will uh, work very fine and works very fast so that's it now it's no problem that you are selecting any type of layer you can select even this one and you just need to play the action okay so as i am selecting this effect layer it's not a matter so click on this uh, ice storm and click on this play action button it will take a little time to complete its processes so we will do it fast forward so we could save your time so click on play the action and wait for the process to complete their work okay so the process is completed we just need to close this side panels of actions and you will see that it is provided it has provided a amazing look okay so what else we are doing you can see that it's not look like what i have showed you on the startup so don't worry about that just need to press ctrl alt and click on this uh, arrow so it could close all these uh, files or we can see that uh, groups at once now we'll open this up press ctrl and click on your brush tool sorry for the traffic and you will see that the uh, selection we have exactly created around our character is created now what we'll do is click on this background layer and press ctrl j what it will do is it will simply create a copy of this character on a new layer now what we'll do is we'll simply click and drag this right between ice ftgr and image ftgr nice now now press ctrl and click on this effect uh, layer you will see that and you will see that the it will create a selection now press uh, this uh, layer mask thumbnail so it will create a thumbnail on it but you will see you will see that the hand is here no worry about that just click on this layer mask thumbnail and press ctrl i so it will invert that and now you will see that the hand is gone but this is not worth it we need to do a little more thing is that uh we'll create a selection i will press ctrl and click on this brush tool and press brush and change the brush and select a hard brush size it down and brush over it sorry uh, we don't need to do that on this layer we will select uh, uh, this sorry ice ftgr because we want to erase these ice blocks from this face so we'll click and create a layer mask thumbnail on it but uh, press ctrl d then and uh, select your uh, ice uh, we can say that this ice uh, blocks layer group and click a layer mask thumbnail selecting your foreground color as black press ctrl and click selection around this and we will simply erase the eyes from face like this why will you usually see that it looks more interesting here by doing that step it looks uh, pretty much nice but don't erase everything from here like this 
now it gives a pretty much nice look look at this now press control and delete now you can see that it looks amazing but you will see that there is a little white color instead of in, in this background we can also control this background just click on this you can see that the highlight and the background let's just see zoom out so it's smoke uh, look at this we'll simply just turn off this group shader and you can uh, even turn off the background also it all depends on you how you like this and you can even change colors so how much color variation variations we have there are lots of color variations and you can change uh, it anywhere or at any time but I'm happy with that color so all the things are done okay that's cool and uh, that's all you can do whatever you like to do it's all depends on you just use high definition images and try to use 8 GB and the resolution should be 72 pixels per inch and I hope you like this video and do subscribe my channel because you are not subscribing at all I am always mentioning in my videos so if you are watching this video please go down and subscribe this channel because there are lots of things as you seeing that I have totally changed the format of my channel because I want you to get everything free of cost for you so we will meet in our next video don't forget and keep learning